The third part now we are going to discuss is about the replenishment. So replenishing the stock after having the gap check analysis is the key. So once you replenish that product, so which product should replenish first, which product should replenish later, which pro how to replenish and what rules to follow, which assortment rules to follow. So let me quickly discuss with you about the replenishment in detail. So first of all, the replenishment goal is to make sure that all stock is available in the store and is also available on the shelf. So there has to be the synchronization between the two, availability of stock in the store and of course then availability of stock on the shelf. And ultimately the goal is to make the customer satisfied because if your customer is satisfied, your customer is happy, ultimately your efforts are uh, you know, giving you results of it. Then you need to understand about the replenishment process. So there are seven steps to it. Quickly, the replenishment steps comes at number three. But let me quickly discuss with you how this process actually works. So number first is you find a gap or a low stock. Automatically, the root cause analysis starts. Then you get to know uh, the, the, it, the reason was because of the order. The reason is because of the delivery. The reason is because of something else, maybe the display of the product. So first of all, you need to find a gap or you need to find a low stock. You move to the second step. You search for this article to be replenished. Is this article available in the warehouse? Is this article available on the high racks? So you need to search for the articles in, to be replenished. Third part, the third step is that you need to replenish immediately. Fourth is to group articles on a pallet if required. So for example, if the products are available in the store, but they are in the low stock. So you need to group articles on the pallet if it is needed. Then fifth step is about store pallet in the high rack as close as possible to the article bay of the sale. For example, if you have the stock available uh, in the store, so what you have to do, you have to put them on the pallet near to the dish shelf. So where the stock is actually available on the shelf, the pallet, which means the backup stock, should be available very close to that. So if the, the product is not available on the shelf, immediately you can get this pallet down and then you can fill that uh, gap check immediately. You can immediately replenish that. Six, you need to manage empty pallets and waste. And the second step is that you need to follow up root cause analysis, that this mistake of gap should not be occurred again, should not be incurred again. So you need to review all these seven steps to move forward. Then replenishing on-shelf articles, on-shelf availability of the articles. So there are normally two types of assortment, normal assortment, and of course the assortment which is in the gap, which is on-shelf availability articles and which are not available at the moment. So this will considered as the priority assortment. So these priority assortment, what you have to do, you have to replenish the caps and low stocks plus maintain the system. You need to update the system accordingly then you have to replenish the other articles and then you have to use observer which actually use uh, to check extra check on the stock of on shelf availability so observer tool is normally used for it how what observer's tool is about let me discuss with you quickly in our upcoming slide but the priority assortment is the articles which are in the gap and they should be filled immediately they are considered as priority assortment and the normal articles assortment is the one which is normally available on the shelf and there is no gap for this particular article at a particular time. So replenishing the priority assortment. So priority assortment is of four kinds, four types. So priority ABC assortment, priority core assortment, priority promotional assortment and priority opportunity assortment. So what it is about? When we talk about ABC assortment, first of all, we need to understand what is the ABC assortment is. It is the top seller articles. The top seller articles means, which means these articles are actually very fastly available. So first of all, the first priority articles are the ABC assortment, which are the fast running articles. Then the articles which you have to replenish immediately is the core assortment. So core assortment are the articles which are actually customer core needs. For example, when a customer enters into a bakery, of course, his core need in that bakery is bread, egg, milk, uh, or maybe rusk. So these are the core needs 
of a bakery of a customer in a, uh, from a bakery core expectations so then you have to uh, replenish his core assortment then you have to also uh, the priority assortment is the promotional assortment so the articles which are actually on the promotion they should be available on the shelf so again they are part of the priority assortment the article these are the core needs of a promotion and they are not available on the shelf so they should be on the shelf and the fourth articles are the four type of assortment is about the opportunity assortment so they are the articles which are actually core articles of a particular season for example it is a season it is a summer season so maybe the camping articles the articles which are ski related to skiing the articles which is related to let's say soccer the art so all the sports equipment kind of thing for a summer vacations and something so all these seasonal core assortment are part of opportunity assortment so all these four type of assortment abc core promotional and opportunity they are all type of priority assortment and they should be replenished immediately into a particular retail store then you need to understand the reasons for prioritization why a retail store give prioritization to it why they they think that you have to do this first of all to satisfy our customer need in order to develop in order to increase the loyalty in order to build the loyalty of the customer and the second part second main reason is to avoid customer uh, loss sale loss of sales loss of turnover because if the customer these are the key articles they are the key assortment if the customer will not find that of course the store will lose the turnover of these articles the store will not get proper healthy sales of these articles then uh, as i was discussing about in order to replenish you have an observer process which is a proactive monitoring tool so this observer which is a tool will help you uh, to identify how and what at what time you have to replenish the particular article or a particular product or particular uh, sku so this is a proactive monitoring tool which will help you that how much time would it take to reorder how quickly you have to go for receiving that particular product and available making available on the shelf so how this uh, observer work the first the observer give you a system alert so what you have to do immediately you have to print that list immediately that the articles which are which would be aware which will be now going to the uh, gap check well they are not in the gap they are not in the gap but they will be in the gap if they have not been addressed or they have not been ordered or they have not been received properly so the third uh, part immediately printing the list then you have to list pick up so what you have to do that there should be a dedicated person who immediately uh, take out this list and forward to the person who is going to replenish that particular assortment or replenish that particular article so immediately you have to forward the list to the replenisher so the guy who will replenish the products on the shelf then you have to check the shelf so in case the if the products are already available on the shelf which means it was an false alert from the system so the, you can make corrections immediately or if it is right of course you immediately done that that you have checked the shelf and you have improved your uh, shelf availability then the fifth part is the replenish the articles so once you are there articles will be replenished to the full capacity or to the available stock so then the last part is about that you have to confirm the replenishment because the system will give you uh, the alert so what you have to update about that if the replenishment is done it has to be updated into the system automatically to the department manager or to the floor manager uh, back to you have to feedback them so that they can confirm in the system that this replenishment has been done properly and now there is no gap available so these are the key replenishment guidelines uh, let me take you through uh, quickly uh, first replenishment guideline is that you need to replenish stock to avoid gaps so in order to minimize the gaps in order to eliminate the gaps you have to replenish the stock then you have to prioritize replenishment and prioritization uh, of the prioritized assortment i have already shared it is abc promotional core articles and seasonal articles so you have to prioritize while making the replenishment then you have to maintain the planogram if the planograms are religiously implemented ultimately uh, your replenishment uh, will be done properly 
then you need to replenish the shelves according to FIFO. So first in, first out principle so that you can uh, easily see the expiry dates or best before dates of the products and the products have been uh, uh, sold to the customer accordingly. Then check best before dates or uh, use by dates. For example, you need to see the expiry date or best before dates that really help through the replenishment. Then you have to present articles instead of packages. Again, important aspect, once you replenish, you need to see that you have to present on the shelf articles, single articles, so the customer can easily see uh, that product. Then manage empty pallets and waste package materials. So what, whatsoever is the empty pallets, which are the, the packaging, for example, if the cartons are there, you have already replenished it on the shelf, the products, so you have to waste this packaging material. So last thing is about giving feedback to the buyer. The person who is procuring that product, immediately you have to update the buyer about this replenishment product or about if there is a product which is not available on the shelf, which is not available in the stock, which is not available in the warehouse, you have to update the buyer. So replenishment is the key. If you have replenished the product, of course, you will get more business, more turnover, more customer loyalty at the end of the day.